Arbitrum airdrop is over. Arbitrum is already trading on most of the exchanges. Congratulations to everyone who got the airdrop or sold one. Uh, today I'm going to go for different opportunities that are on the horizon with different airdrops. So let's get started with some of them. Uh, what you see right now on my screen is basically what are the biggest gas consumers recently because as you can see, people are already moving some of the funds from Arbitrum to other chains with expectations of uh, actually uh, farming the airdrop there so this is uh, uh, especially the top three super interesting here and I, this is what I want to talk about basically ZK Sync, Starkware and Layer 0 the number four is Arbitrum However, starting with Arbitrum, I already uh, basically mentioned all of those already some months ago, but because Arbitrum happened, no one was expecting it at this time, so all the people are migrating back. So if you want to learn more about Starkware Layer 0 ZK Sync, I have a very particular videos focused just on them, but in this video I will show you what you can do to potentially be eligible for one of those crypto airdrops. Most of them are layers to, to Ethereum, so you will have to breach do some kind of swaps or other transactions and you should be fine in general. Uh, starting with Steel Arbitrum, uh, I want to show you Vela Exchange. I also did a separate video about that, but there are rumors that Vela Exchange will do an airdrop. Uh, Vela Exchange, uh, Vela.exchange, you can see the link down below in the description. Uh, and Vela Exchange is basically a simple uh, exchange that's trying to compete with GMX. GMX.io also covered on my channel uh, when I was talking on about how you can increase your chances for Arbitrum airdrop. Uh, it turned out to be true. Uh, by doing different transactions on GMX, you could qualify. Uh, Vela is pretty much the same. They will have uh, airdrop probably coming soon. This is what's the, what the speculations I've heard about. Uh, and what you can do is basically you can trade here. So it's as simple as basically, uh, you know, putting the collateral in, depositing something, choosing the leverage. Uh, then you can choose between take profit and stop loss or both uh, or none yeah, if you want to play a little bit more risky choose the leverage between 1 to 20 uh, and then you can click on long and short uh, doing whatever you want to do you see the liquidation price right away so you have if here and a bunch of other uh, a bunch of other coins also interesting stuff euro japanese yen and pound sterling so you can actually do a little bit of forex on Vela Exchange, which is also interesting. Uh, so this is it. You have also leaderboard if you want to check who's winning, who's doing the most of the volume on Vela Exchange itself. Really interesting stuff. I will put the link down below in the description. Now, on to the next thing. We have those three layers too. So ZK Sync is first. Uh, I already did a separate video uh, just a couple of days ago about ZK Sync in particular, so I'm going to link that. But basically, uh, we're already in phase two. Uh, Testnet and Mainnet are launched, but those are the 1.0 versions. 2.0 version is coming as well, so you still have chance probably at a snapshot. We, we don't know that, uh, but there's definitely a lot of activity currently at ZK Sync, which might indicate that something is going to happen. The best way, of course, to be potentially eligible for things like that, uh, for new chains, especially layer two, is bridging your, your assets from Ethereum, doing transactions and doing them over time. You don't want to uh, do everything in like 24 or 48 hours and forget about the chain you want to come back and also do that uh, often the more often the bigger chance you have so ZK Sync is number one now we have also Starknet so Starknet.io uh, another uh, layer to, to Ethereum where you have Stargate and as you can see on this list from the Screenshot, Star, both Starkware and Stargate are on the list of gas guzzlers here. Stargate being the uh, bridge between Ethereum and Starknet. So this is why it's used and people are moving the funds to Starknet in order to be potentially eligible. Again, try to bridge and then maybe do a swap or two. Uh, there's an exchange called G Jedi Swap that I also covered on my channel because they also might be coming with another crypto airdrop. A lot of airdrops, I know everything will be in the description below. So if you missed anything, uh, just check the description down below uh, to follow the links. Finally, if you look at the screen here, we have layer zero. Layer zero is another uh, layer two or actually layer zero, which, which tries to under mean that you can connect to other blockchains, not only EVMs like Ethereum, but uh, also other blockchains. So they're trying to build this 
fundamental infrastructure. Really great idea because we want to have uh, the blockchain wor world as much connected as possible. Uh, so the core concept of layer zero is basically the ability to uh, connect between any chain possible a lot of backing from top VC funds, of course, and pro uh, top protocols, DeFi protocols on uh, Ethereum and elsewhere. And again, if you want to qualify for a potential airdrop at layer zero, the best chance is uh, bridging some of your funds from Ethereum or other chain to layer zero, playing around there, uh, going with the test net as well. Again, I had a separate video about layer zero, so I won't repeat that unless there are some new updates on the protocol itself. But for so far, as I can see, uh, everything, uh, everything stands. So check the link again down below. So this is it. We totally have four projects that are worth looking at. So we have ZK Sync, Starquark, Layer Zero, uh, and then Vela Exchange that I've mentioned, four projects, uh, but that's definitely not all because G Jedi Swap also on StarkNet uh, or stuff like uh, the Tensor uh, protocol on Solana, which is a little bit like Blair. There are definitely a lot of airdrops coming and the important stuff thing, uh, and the, the important thing here is that uh, you should focus on a couple of them and especially in a one category. So for example, like L2s, because playing L2 airdrops is a bit different than playing NFT airdrops like Blair, looks rare, uh, Tensor, because those uh, involve more of like trading NFTs, here you have trading traditional coins plus maybe bridging, uh, playing around with DeFi stuff and so on. So it's good to have a focus on those because it's much harder to do everything uh, basically, uh, but you can try of course. There are definitely many opportunities and crypto market is the only place where you can basically uh, get uh, some kind of a free tokens just by playing around the chain, testing it. It's also great for anyone that does not have capital but wants to learn a lot about the blockchain. Really great stuff. So for everything guys, of course, subscribe to my channel. I tend to talk a lot about crypto airdrops, but also tech behind blockchains, new chains, new DeFi, new NFT collections and much more. So subscribe and see you in the next video.